Okay, so every once in a while, a game comes out that really grabs my attention, and this is one of them. It's a game called Destroyer, the U-Boat Hunter. It's a complex, hardcore simulation game set in World War II, where you hunt down enemy U-Boats that are hunting your fleet of merchant ships that are delivering cargo. It's your job to protect your cargo ships as long as possible, and if you don't sink a U-Boat, that's fine, because your cargo still gets to the area, but, I mean, it's an added bonus to drop your depth charges on them and come out victorious. This is also a sponsored video so click on that link in the video description to get the game on steam and if you enjoy these type of simulation games you'll absolutely love this one each battle is procedurally generated your fletcher class destroyer is modeled with ship locations recreated there's a ton of different voice reports that give you information and you'll see all of that as we play the game there's also 10 battle stations that cover the most essential duties of an anti-submarine attack team and the game's ambience is quite amazing as well there's a soundtrack that really sets the setting and then the dialogue between between the different vessels and the crew members each doing their own part super unique game so let's get right into it okay wow so uh we have a contact, contact. over here st almost straight to the west let's go directly at them direction 270 they're at 5,000 yards so that is no slouch and we'll go up on standard speed actually let's go to full speed we can go look at the bridge we could do all of that from here like make it full speed and we can also turn and like change our direction like that. But I kind of like typing it in over here because it's just easier. And we can't do any sonar, so that's fine. We can go look at the bridge. We could do all of that from here, like make it full speed. And we can also turn and like change our direction like that. But I kind of like typing it in over here because it's just easier. And we can't do any sonar, so that's fine. Oh, nice. We have air support on station too. Thank you, Bloodhound. We have Antler, which is another destroyer. And that is Abel, which is one of the enemy U-boats that's coming in to destroy our merchant convoy here. They're just hauling, like, goods for the war in Europe. And we're trying to protect them. That's kind of the objective, anyway. And they're still 4,300 yards away. Yikes. Oh, wow, they're closing quickly, though. Okay, 3,700 actually is probably us closing quickly because we're in full speed. Now, they did cut a little bit straighter so do i want to cut them off and go like a couple degrees north to like 175 ish and by 175 i mean 275 we'll just turn and go directly at them uh-huh okay so it just does take a little bit of time to update but we can also look here this is tracking where we've seen them in our track so we can get a good idea i'd like to come in and like do this like turn like a quick turn to drop over top of them but we can drop our depth charges going this way as well. Just makes it a little bit more difficult. And we're still like, what's that? Nearly a mile and a half away. So there's also a difference between sonar, which is the, the typical ping, ping, and then the uh, the radar. Radar is above water, sonar is underwater. Okay, they're at 1,800 yards. Let's drop our speed to standard. And we're gonna do a hard right turn, probably maybe about 20 degrees to the right. Because I really want to open up the guns. Start tracking contact. Target acquired. And let's see if we can see him over there. Oh, there I, I see him right down there. Okay, cool. Contact able now bears uh -huh. two eight two one. eight one. Range, two eighty. Oh, they just submerged. Okay, okay. So we need to turn on this, which is the underwater sonar, and they're at two eighty, right? Combat sonar. Yeah, the last one. Okay, we got him. 280 at 900 yards. Let's go look at our tactical screen to kind of see what's going on. Oh my word. We need to switch. Oh, we got to see what the next one is. Let's actually drop our speed. Because they might just go directly underneath of us. Get us off guard. Okay, they are shallow. So let's ready the depth charges. Shallow pattern. I want the destructive. 288, 500 yards. So they're up here a little bit more. They're decreasing depth, which means they're going deeper, right? Increasing depth? No, decreasing depth means they're coming up. And if they're already shallow, they're right at the surface. So let's switch to like 300 and uh, let's go like 350. We're going to turn hard to the right. And hopefully they just continue keeping going under us. Yeah, they're 300. Okay, let's check out our TRR. So this is uh, kind of the targeting mechanism. This just... I don't even know how to describe it, but it... Uh, it gives the depth, like, it takes 10 seconds for a shallow depth charge to fire. 
So if we're going five knots or eight knots, we want it to be in here. And then when it gets to this line, so like this is lined up there. And when it hits to this dotted line, that's when we want to fire. And they're making a sharp right turn. So if they're making a sharp right turn, they're coming in directly behind us, which is a little bit difficult. We need to go to like 90 degrees now. Okay, they're at 350. Actually, that's not too bad. Whoa, we have another contact. That's not good. That's way over here. We're going to get the airplane to go check them out. I really don't like this. Let's look at the sonar again. Okay, this is pretty good. We're going to line up, and then we'll drop the depth charges on them. Mm. Yeah, we'll drop the depth charges when it gets to this dotted line. Okay. We are going one-third speed. They're increasing depth. They're going deeper. I kind of want to cut them off a little bit more. Sharp left turn. Does that mean they're going to turn into us? Maybe. A hundred. They are going super slow. Because we're right on top of them. And they're just not even moving right now. They might be stopped, actually. At least we still have... Oh, this is getting closer now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like to see. 118. Perfect. Okay, and Black Cat, which is our airplane, has sighted the, the thing. Hopefully they can sync it with their depth charges. That'd be kind of cool. Engage that sub. That'd be cool. We don't have to worry about it. There might be somewhere between one to five subs. I guess there's already two. So we need to take out as many as we can. But our better goal... It's just to uh, defend our people. Okay, this is so close to... This is so not... Yeah. 290? So, like, we go to 310? They're just directly below us and trying to turn around. I might have had a shot when it got here, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh, nice! Bloodhound and the airplane dropped a uh, depth charge on the sub. They might have sunk one of them. Let's take a quick look at our DRT just to see what's happening. So we came in behind them. This is where they were going in direction. We came in behind them and then we switched straight up. And now they're coming in the middle. That's where we are. So they're right in here. 220 at 300 yards. All right. Good thing I'm going at 320. So they went from 273 to 221. 273 to 221 and then we are still going at 290 so we're going this way they're going back down this way so we got to turn like super hard as hard as we can now they're at 164 so they're just driving straight that way they're so much more nimble than we are too now they're making a sharp right turn which is good for us so we should be able to ca catch up with them now okay let's increase our speed because we're actually getting closer to them now and they're getting closer to our convoy, so that's not good either. Awesome. So that 107, 500 yards? I like that. Because that means we're catching up to them now. They're not turning as much, but they're getting deeper. We're actually really close to them. Okay, let's drop our speed and fire. They are medium, though. I have no idea where they are compared to me. A new contact. A third one. Ooh. Come on, where's the, where's the explosions? We're right in front of them. That's me. So if I increase my speed again, and then turn about 10 degrees to the right, I might be on top of him again. Did I lose him? I did. Okay, I'm going to fire again. I don't know if I'm going to hit, because I can't see him on the sonar, but it looked right. Oh, why does there have to be a third one coming in now? Antler, I want you up here. Oh, wow, surface radar. Okay, that's super close. Oh, they went underwater again. So I've got good news and bad news. I've sent out Antler to take out B. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That went underwater. I also sent our airplane out to get Charlie. Or whatever it's called. We are also getting super close to sinking another one. And by sinking, I mean we might actually get a shot at this one. It's 300 yards away at 99. So let's go to, like, 120 to try to cut it off. And I'm hoping it's shallow. I'm not sure if it's shallow. Come on. Okay, 351. What? Really? That's the wrong direction. Oh, shoot! You turned so hard! Why did you have to turn like that? And now it's going to keep turning. It's like a squirrel just trying to run away from a puppy dog. Actually, it's a wolf. Like, they're called a wolf pack. Oh, wow. It went from a 
200 yards to 300 yards in about 30 seconds. <laughs> it's going super far away from me. Uh-oh. Okay, they got the, the air support. Has the black. Has the one. Okay, you should drop depth charges on that little airplane, friend. Okay, Abel's at 280. That's fine. I went to 270. They're engaging the sub. Drop some depth charges on there. That'd be awesome. And I'm hoping Antler can take out Baker, because Antler's nice and Baker's bad. If you were wondering how war works, that's it. Ooh, 280. Hold up. Sharp left turn. I see that. So let's go south to, like, 140. Uh-oh. Somebody's firing. It's not me. I need to fire, though. I might have... I might have missed. I wasn't paying attention. Ready to depth charges again? Oh, that might be perfect! You see those little things dropping down? They're, like, right in line. Oh! That's a good... Is that a hit? That could be a hit. That could be a really good hit. Oh! Yes! We hit him! Oh, that's so cool! Oil slick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we hit him. I don't know if we took him out, though. I need to look. That oil slick is right back there. I kind of just want to drop him again just to see what happens. But that's in, uh, like, direction of 10. So let's get our sonar looking back over here at, at 10. Ooh, someone else is bombing right now. Oh, there's my, my group. I don't worry, buddies. I'll protect you. Okay. Good. I really just need to slow down and try to figure out where this other ship is. Because they were right back there. Let's quickly check out our DRT to see if we can figure out where they went. Okay, we're going down away from them. And they were up here. 18 was the last point. <gasps> yes! Yes, we sunk them! Hot dang! That's so cool. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We sunk one. Oh, awesome. That means I can go after another one now. I'm so excited. It's so hard to sink them. So let's go over to, to B. 100, uh, but 110. New we're going to set our sonar to search out that way. And we're going to go, like, standard speed. Actually, I should go after Charlie. Let's go up to, like, 40. We have to be very careful to navigate through here, because if we crash into a ship, we, we kind of lose the game, which sucks. But, I mean, it makes sense, because you're trying to protect him, not crash into him. And I'm going to go, like, full speed. Oh, Antler, Antler attacking Baker. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Oh, those look really good. Those depth charges look as good as mine. They might be too deep, though. That one could be perfect. That could be perfect. Load up, load up. Come on, Boomski. You have another good old... Oh, I might have missed. How could you have done this to us? You were the chosen one, Antler. What are you doing way over here, though, bud? I wonder if Charlie's on the surface. Let's look at the combat and the radar quick. Oh, they are. Oh, they're so close to our convoy. We have to go through it. <laughs> Don't want to do this. Don't want to do it. We have to go through the... Uh-oh. Okay, I, I know that. Um, 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 We have to go, like, northwest. So, 45 degrees. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Because we're going right through our convoy of ships.com. Please don't blow me up. Is it uh, illegal to fire shells? Oh, no! General Grant has been torpedoed. You! I can't believe you've done this! That, makes, that was actually... Okay. At 36. I have to go standard. 036. This is so hard to attack him now. We have lost the General Grant. Ah, We got him, though. 33 at 1,800 yards. Oh, there's our airplane. Okay, am I going to crash? No, I think I'm good. Why couldn't have you protected him, Antler? I might. I might actually crash. Quick, 20 degrees to the right. Oh, shut up, Starboard Lookout. We're going behind him. I, I told you to shut up, buddy. Did I make it past him? I did. Ooh. Antler's attacking Charlie. You're not even close to Charlie, bud. Okay, Charlie's still up here. You better not fire another torpedo. I swear I'll drop some depth charges on your head if you try to sink another one of my ships. Okay, 354, 700 yards. 
That's actually like right when we're going. Sonar's looking good. It's actually looking really good. We are creeping up on them so fast right now. Okay, come on in. Come on in. 342. I'm going to sink them. Okay, ready? Get set and fire. Get another one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Quick. Hard right. Oh, it's okay. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. That's me over Charlie. I think I missed. Wow, they are going directly under my fleet. Those jerks. They have to be right underneath of our guys. Looks like our airplanes have left us as well. Shoot, this is bad. Feel bad that we lost one of our ships. And the worst part is I have literally no idea where these two U-boats are. I'm telling my sonar to cover it, but they might have actually gone the other way. So it's 1226. We have lost B for four minutes and C for two. They're actually both fairly close to us too. I'm gonna tell Antler to get in position over here. I also don't wanna crash, so I turn my ship to kind of be on the flank here. And then if, uh, where's Antler at? Back here. If you could make it on the other side, that'd be super cool. Just kind of protect them the best we can. Be sick if we could find a periscope. I don't see any, though. That looked like something right there. It isn't. My guess is they're hiding out. Ooh. Hiding out underneath of there, because it's harder to find them when they're under those merchant ships. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, is that me? Am I going to crash? Yeah, I'm going to crash. Okay, we need to go to, like, 340. Definitely don't want to crash. Definitely don't like crashing. Thank you, lookout man, for looking out for us. I didn't realize that the merchant fleet had changed position. Oh, surface radar. Baker at 122. Nice. How far away? I need to know where they are. 122. 1,700. Okay. I'm going for them. I'm actually going to get the guns out. Oh, I see them out there. Yes, there they are. Select that ammo. We're going to blast them. Okay, a little bit ahead. Pull it up ahead. Fire! Oh, that was right over the deck. These things are so low to the water. Maybe, maybe. I just need to hit. One single little hit. Fire! Oh, that was close. Oh! Come on. Why are they still above the water? Why are they above? Oh! Oh! I hit them! No, 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 no. That's a torpedo. Oh, shoot, man. Was that me? Did it torpedo me? Well, so I guess that submarine took me out with the torpedo right as I was taking it out with the deck gun. Super unfortunate, but uh, man, that's the way this game is. So interesting, such a unique game, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to get this game for yourself. And once again, this was a sponsored video. So thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members for supporting the channel, including Autoday, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, General Harris, Maxer, VC Engineer, With a Good, Eagle Ark, Spencer T, Zarnoff, Royal, Deegan, Sarkin, Kazmorex, Baron Fox, Whiskey, Spider Sacks, Joe B, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geek Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Brad, KDF, Dalton C, Hellbora, Mr. M Gaming, Sikander, Kyle, Kieran, Grayson, Monkey, Zane, Mr. Cripple One, and Epic Bacon.